Hello, this is Atuba and Gloria George, and we are so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, today is Friday, praise God. I have always told you this, I love Fridays, because it's a time to do a recap. You, you do a recap. All what we've been talking about the whole week, go listen to it and, and just get blessed. Praise God. Hallelujah. We believe that the words we are speaking, they are spirit, spirit. and they are life. You know why? Because we receive from the Lord mm. what we are communicating to you. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Before we go on to today's broadcast, can we call for our daily bread? Say, Father, Father, every one of you join us right now as we declare, say, Father, Father, I demand, I demand and I receive, and I receive right, now, right now my daily, my daily bread. bread. It's coming to me it's coming now. To now. In Jesus', Jesus name. name. Say they say angels, angels go. Angels go. Bring forth. Bring forth all that I need. All that I need. To make my day. To make my day. A great one. A great one. I receive it. I receive it. In Jesus, in Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. All through this month, we've been talking about family matters, Lord. Thank you for all the blessing and restoration that you have begun to bring in families. These things begin to be evident Amen. in their lives. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. I declare right now burdens in marriages are being lifted. Amen. Yokes in marriages, everything that have yoked you, everything that have yoked your spouse, everything that have yoked your children, right now by the anointing of God's spirit, they are shattered, Amen. they are destroyed. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. I speak freedom. Amen. Freedom to do the will of God. Amen. Freedom to fulfill your destiny. Amen. It's yours now. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. It's been an amazing month. And, you know, we, we, we can just continue this, talk about this for the whole year. But I believe that these few things we've shared with you, it's enough for the Spirit of God to begin to use, to build up in you, if you turn to me. Yes. No man can give you all yeah. truth. No. It is only the Holy Spirit. That's why Jesus said, it is yeah. better for you that I go so that the Holy yeah. Spirit will come. And when he comes, he, he will died. teach you all things. Yeah. And then he will guide you into, into all truth. truth. Yeah. It's the job of the Holy Spirit. We will only bear his testimony as he has given to us. We, we our job is to bear his testimony and say what Jesus said is true. Yeah. Jesus said he will guide into all truth. He's been guiding us yes. into all truth. Yes. So we are confirming what Jesus said to be true. Yeah. He will teach you all things. He has been teaching us a whole, whole lot. Yes. Everything we're sharing, he taught us. He did teach us. And you can live a healthy life. You can live a, I mean, I mean, when I say healthy, a spiritually healthy life. You see, the Bible says, John said, it, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Meaning, your soul ought to be making advancement. Your way of reasoning should be advancing. That's where this thing starts from. He says, be not conformed to this, this world, world, but be transformed by the mm -hmm. renewing of your mind. It is in the renewing of your mind that your mind and your soul so prospers. prospers. Yes. Renewing, not degrading, not downgrading. It's not, not, not from good to bad, mm -hmm. but from good to better, better to and to best. And if it was bad, from bad to good to better to best. That is the process. John said it, that my prayer is that you prosper mm. and, and be in health. health even. Because John knew that they were in a place where they were given opportunity for their souls to prosper. So he's teaching them now. Mm. That means there is the prosperity of their soul taking place. Mm. Then now he's now praying that you will begin to truly prosper. Mm. Because, but why is that prayer important? 
If your soul begins to prosper and you miss out of your covenant rights, a day will come when you begin to wonder, does this thing really work? There are people like they receive the word of God. They are excited, so excited, but they don't know. Paul said a prayer, pray a prayer, that you will know what is the hope of your calling. Why are we into this thing that we are doing? Why has God called us to live this kind of life that we are living? Mm -hmm. There is a hope. And if he said that you will know because when, once you know it, then you will begin to demand. And he will ask, Jesus will say, ask and you shall receive. Yes. But if you don't know what to ask, how will you ask? Mm -hmm. If you don't know the quality of what you're supposed to ask, how mm -hmm. would you ask? Mm -hmm. So you can be right in the midst of plenty and be begging. Why? Because you did not know. So first, the prosperity of your soul. The next, understanding and knowing your covenant rights. And then the manifestation of these things in your life. So two main things John prayed about, and that's what was his concern. Prosper. Not as your needs. That prosperity he was talking about is your needs being met. Do well. Do well, you know, physically. Do well and then be in health. Now, these two things are your covenant rights, a healthy life and a prosperous life. But then they are tied to the prosperity of your mind. School your mind, educate your mind with spiritual things, with spiritual things. And how? By receiving the testimony of the Lord. The Bible says the scripture is able to make you wise. Make you wise. Paul was Even commending Timothy. Know. And it's how that from a child you have known the Holy Scripture, scriptures. which are able to make, make you wise. He recognized that from a child, Timothy had known the Holy Scriptures. And there was a point he commended his, his, his grandmother. Mm -hmm. You see, that because she, she brought him up right. She taught him the word of God. And now he, he, so when Paul met Timothy, Timothy was going somewhere. Mm -hmm. He was going somewhere. He knew, he knew. His, let me tell you this truth. There is so, something knowing scriptures does to you. you. Yes. It will truly make you wise. Mm. It will make you wise. Because when you want to do your own thing, the you scripture remember. will just come up before yes. you. And then you yield and submit. So, you know what we're talking about? Commanding your household. That's one tool that God has given you. We have the written. Have your children read the scriptures. Have your household study the scriptures. Read it, study it, read it, study it. It's creating it's a culture it. in them. It's enhancing the productivity of, of their mind. mind your soul. Because the more they read, if you read anything, you'll be informed about that mm -hmm. thing. So mm -hmm. how much more when they are now, when they are now informed mm -hmm. with the scriptures? In parenting, use scriptures. Use Correction, scriptures. use scriptures. This is what the Bible says. This is what God says. Like, let the... You know, we want to discipline our children. Oh, <laughs> they will read several scriptures. <laughs> and, and systematic. You know, not just. Oh, this is why I'm. This is this is what the scripture did. This is what the scripture did. I mean, I mean one time, you know, I had to like, you know, Proverbs when it says, "You shall correct him immediately." Mm -hmm. I said, "Read it." So you shall correct him immediately. Said, Should I leave the correction till tomorrow? No, I correct him immediately. They are crying because they yeah, know what's coming. <laughs> 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 the boy says we do it immediately. Should we obey the word of God? Mm -hmm. Yes, daddy. <laughs> he, says, he says, foolishness is bound in the heart, the heart of, of a child, child, but the rod of correction drives it far <laughs> from him. Do you want to be foolish? No, daddy. But this act you just did, it's do you think it's foolishness? Yes, daddy. Do you want to grow in foolishness? What drives foolishness far from you? The rod of correction. So, you see. Praise God. Now, that's what the scriptures does. Mm. So, groom yourself. Groom your scriptures. There are parents that don't know the scriptures. 
What do you do with your life? Get, let's say, create time. Get, get buy, buy audio Bible. Play it in your yeah, car. Driving, yeah. Play it in your car. Play it at night before you sleep. You can even download things like that on your phone. Mm -hmm. Put it by your bedside. Mm -hmm. Let it be playing. Mm -hmm. And then you sleep off. Let, let, let the scriptures be all around yeah. you. You know what it's doing? It helps the prosperity of your mind. Mm. Because listen, the quality of your thinking is based on the information your mind is exposed to. Mm -hmm. The quality of your thinking. thinking is based on the information your mind is exposed to. Mm. If your mind is exposed to so many lies, your thinking is going to be poor. When you come out and you say something like, whoops, where did you get that? You know, I remember one time I was traveling with, with someone. Now she was, I think she was in her twenties or then, you know, we're still in school then. So we're, we're traveling together. And then this bridge, uh, suspend, um, what do you call them now? Come on now. <laughs> Ali Kabushe. This, this, you know, when you, when you, when you're driving on a highway and then you climb a, a bridge, you know, you hear that gigum. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. now those things are meant for expansions. Okay. You know, so they are metal stuff. So they keep that gap. So when there's when there's heat or when there's cold, there's either expansion or contraction. So the bridge doesn't spoil. Mm -hmm. So they put those things there. Yeah, so we're traveling, and then she asked me, and this was a university student. And she asked me, said, Ah, Pastor, why do we have these things? So I explained. I said, oh, this is what it's meant for. And she shook her head. I said, what is it? I said, my dad told me a lot of lies. <laughs> I said, what did your dad tell you? He said, my dad told me that they put it, they, that's how they catch arm robbers. When arm robbers are escaping from a town. So <laughs> they were, that's the point they used to release the bridge. So the bridge will divide into two. So the arm robbers cannot cross over. So that's what her dad told her. I like really now guess what it stayed mm -hmm. in her heart mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now imagine thank god she asked imagine going to say that in public mm -hmm. you know that's why when we build bridges we put those things so that we can mm -hmm. prevent arm robbers so, <laughs> or imagine standing somewhere saying, how come the arm robbers escaped why didn't they open the bridge <laughs> oh my god Open the bridge. What are you talking about? Mm. So you see, the quality of information you're mm. exposed to mm. tells the quality of your thinking. Yeah. Now, when you are exposed to truth, which is the word of God, mm. not just reading the Bible now, but actively being around people who do the word. Because people who do the word mm. will be people of truth. There is a scripture in Proverbs that talks about when you walk with the wise. You will become wise. wise. Now, listen, this book is full of wise things. Yeah. You know, two things that you said from the story with the students you traveled with. As parents, the quality of information we release to our, so our children, children will be based on truth. Truth. Because they will grow up. Now, with I'm it. sure. The dad will be like, how do I explain this thing to you now? Do you understand? Maybe he's thinking of how technical yes, it is to explain. Age, so maybe. like, you know what? Let me just yes. give you something you can flow with. But he didn't know the that he was, was corrupting yes. a thinking process. In that line. So the quality of information that we pass to our children has to be based on truth. Truth! Sometimes if they ask you a question that you don't have an immediate answer to, you can tell them that I'll you, find out. You will revisit that topic. I'll find out and I'll get yes, back to I'll you. I'll get back to you. So, and do it. Do go find out. Because yes. because you don't want your children to begin to get information from outside, outside yes. and bring you. That's one decision mm -hmm. we made. Mm -hmm. That everything our children will know, at least majority of the yes. things they will know mm -hmm. about life, they will learn it from home. Outside will only confirm. Mm -hmm. So when you bring it outside, I say, No, oh, my dad and mom, they already told mm -hmm. me this. Mm -hmm. And then when the communication line is open, even if they hear things outside, they bring it they in, bring it they home. ask questions. They, exactly. And you have the right to, don't just watch those, that, that doesn't concern you, leave it. Oh, mm -hmm. no, every opportunity, you use have. it to educate. Remember the scripture that 
talked about right is on the wall yes put it on this god was telling you that telling us that there is there, there will be every opportunity, opportunity for us to share the word so take advantage when they bring up questions don't shut, don't them. shut don't them down, down. Don't you take the you that is an opportunity god has opened to you yes. because they are going to believe you yes doesn't matter what they've heard outside. They, they why they asking you is because there is some measure of doubt, doubt in their heart. Now, whatever you tell them is what they, they will, will take believe. It. So, get this: you walk in the truth, and don't shy away from exposing your, your children, children to truth. truth. Choose life. Choose life. So That's that what God said. So that you and, and your children. Will will live. Live. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Our will time will is up. Whoa, it's been a wonderful month with you and, and, and with my wife. <laughs> it's good. Listen, I thank God for the wisdom he has given to you. Now, I enjoy that wisdom. I enjoy the quality of your mind. I, I enjoy it. Thank God. I am not in doubt or wondering, I hope my children are fine. Or I hope you, I'm never in doubt whether you take the right decision concerning them. Now that's because I waited on God until he directed me to you. And I'm enjoying the full benefit of it. Thank that's you. why I love you. I love you. <laughs> Praise God. Oh, we bless God. Can Thank we you, just Jesus. pray? Father, you, we pray right now as we close this broadcast. Mm. Every one of your children who desires a peaceful marriage mm. according to your plan. Whether they are married or not, whether they're experiencing this or not, Lord, right now, right now, we stand in agreement with your word. Mm. That expected end shall be the portion. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, strengthen them as they wait. Amen. They will not give up. Amen. They will not give up. Amen. But you will strengthen their faith. Amen. And Lord, you will begin to show them signs. Amen. This week. You, this weekend. Amen. This weekend, Thank Lord. You. you will begin to show them signs Amen. of your token. Amen. That that expected end is real. Yeah. It shall come. Yes. Father, this weekend, that's what we ask of you. Thank you Lord Manifest Jesus. your love in their marriage relationship. Amen. Manifest your love in their family situation. Amen. We pray, anyone that is praying concerning their troubled Amen. child or children, Amen. we speak restoration now. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lost children are coming back home. Amen. Amen. Jesus' mighty Amen. name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much for keeping this fellowship with us and listening to this broadcast. We really appreciate you. We appreciate you. And God will surely visit you and bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We invite you again, like our YouTube channel, subscribe to it, and also put on the notification so that once this message drops and we, we trust god for greater things from next month and and hey on the first of march which is going to be on tuesday we are having our, uh, our 24 fast 24 hours fast. fasting and prayer meeting mm -hmm. the information will be given to you join us plan for this it's going to be a meeting via zoom so wherever in the world you can join us so plan for it and we'll be looking forward to seeing you. God bless you. This is Atubo and Gloria Judge saying we love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.